<laughs> Yo, hey, I got next on Mortal Kombat. All right, anyways, yeah, I'm still in the arcade. Uh, but let's uh, let's play some games here. Let's rip open some 2017, 18, totally certified basketball, half case, break number ten. Well, it's not really. Well, it is a half case. It's an inner case. This is a master case. In a master case, there are two inner cases, as you are about to see. You ever seen a case give birth to, to more cases? If you haven't, you're about to witness a miracle. Check it. Oh, look at that. Two little baby cases. A.K.A. inner cases. This one I'll do some other time. But this one is getting done tonight. All right, and as always, good luck, everybody. There we go. All right. Let's rip this thing open. Damn. You know who I think is going to come out and surprise everybody? Markel Fultz. Markel Fultz. Zach Levine definitely has all the athletic ability. It's it's kind of like you say, Snipe God. He he it's he needs to work on that mentality, that killer instinct. But you you know that's that's difficult to teach, man. You it's kind of one of those things where you either got it or you don't. Uh, but I think Zach Levine's gonna be nice. Those Bulls got a really good team. Chris Dunn is gonna be a stud. Uh, so is Laurie Marketing. Denzel Valentine, another good player. Uh, no one's talking about the Bulls. You know they're they're really really young, so that's probably why no one's talking about them. And of course they're losing, but they got a good team. Give them about two or three years, and the Bulls are going to be back to uh, making playoffs and making some noise. Uh, but I think Markel Fultz, this kid right here, the number one overall pick, he was the number one overall pick for a reason, people. Yeah, he's been injured, and there's some situation going on there with his jump shot, but I think Markel Fultz is going to come and surprise a lot of people. There it is. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. So starting us off, you get a little, a little poor Zingas to 199 for the Knicks. Uh, I will be breaking select football tomorrow for eBay at midnight. Uh, but if you're asking about the store breaks, G. Budman, we will be ripping that as soon as all teams are sold out. So I have 17 teams left on that. 17 teams left on that. So, as soon as that sells out, I'm ripping it. Uh, in this break, yes, everything ships. Where's the auto? It's probably it right here. To 99, Wayne Selden Jr. of the Grizzlies. Go ahead and top load that. What else? What else? Luke Kennard to 299 for the Pistons. Right, right, right. What do we have here? I got you, G. Budman. Listen, I think that select football is going to fill very quickly. Uh, people are pretty much just waiting for it to come out. 
Uh, but dude, uh, the case that I have in the store, it's, it's, it's about halfway there. So once I actually physically have the product, pff, it'll be super fast. Actually, yeah, Black Panther actually comes out tonight. So I'm a little bummed out. Uh, all my friends, all my black friends, <laughs> are going to go see Black Panther. So my, you know, one of my best friends calls me. He's like, hey, bitch, let's go watch. You know, that's how we talk to each other. He's like, hey, bitch, let's go watch Black Panther. And I'm like, I can't, faggot. I have to go to work. <laughs> He's like, what time do you get off, motherfucker? And I'm like, well, asshole, I'm there, you know, till whenever I want. But I'm not going to make the movie. So I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little sad that I'm go I don't get to watch Black Panther with the homies. But it's, it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to catch that bootleg, though. Terrence Ferguson of the Thunder. I already told him, yo, live stream that shit, dog. <laughs> Let me catch that live stream, bro. Let's let's go watch Black Panther tomorrow, Jason, with the Fritanga girls. Marcus sold to 99 for the Grizzlies. For the Grizzlies as well, Marcus sold to 199 the patch. Yeah, me and my friends, we get a little, uh, I don't know, we, we're, we're mean to each other, but it's all out of love. Derek White to 299 for the Spurs. I think that Black Panther movie is going to be really good, too. Got some good actors in it. Curious to see what's what, what the Marvel Universe is going to turn that out. Jawan Evans to 199 for the Clippers. Jawan it, you got it. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was not good. That was not good. All right, whatever. Let's keep it going. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Nothing there. What up, KK fan? What up, Sparta91? What up, everybody? Watching a little uh, totally certified basketball right now for eBay. Uh, coming up next, I have preferred basketball at 9. But, people, I got preferred football in the store. A full case of it. 23 spots left. That's all I need to rip that bad boy. Exactly, Snipe God. That's that's what I'm looking for right now. I agree with you, Josh. I agree with you. But you know what? I will say I will say this about the Marvel movies. I don't think I've seen one Marvel movie yet, like out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's come out. I don't think I've seen one that's like, damn, this movie sucks. I will say I haven't seen any of the Thor movies. I've seen all the other ones, like all the Captain America movies are fucking baller. Like the very first Captain America movie is the shit. The Iron Man movies, with the exception of the third one, the third one's a little uh, but even that one's still a pretty good movie. So I don't think they're going to fuck up Black Panther. I really don't. Especially, you know, with their resume. So I will be waiting for Black Panther on, on Facebook Live or or Instagram Live or something like that. So it's bound to happen. For the Raptors, OG and Anobi. That's a nice one. Solid. Dude, rookies this year are, like, on point. Every team, literally every team has a solid rookie. That's kind of, I can't remember the last time that happened. Maybe since 03, but I, I don't think even 03 had the depth that this draft class has. It's, it's pretty nuts. 3 out of 10 for DeAndre Jordan of the Clippers. That is so nice. I got to top load it because uh, pretty low number parallel. What else we got? I see, uh, ooh, check that out. I was just talking about this boy. Don't sleep on him. Markel Fultz to 25. Uh, you know, I have never seen any of those movies. The Sharknado or none of those sci-fi movies. I can't. I can't. The graphics are, are what would turn me off. 
is just too fake. To 249, DJ Wilson of the Bucks. But it still, it pales in comparison to the worst movie of all time. Which, which actually makes it the greatest movie of all time. It's called The Room. If you haven't seen the movie called The Room, I, uh, I highly suggest you watch it. Only for the simple fact that you're going to watch it and be like, what the fuck am I watching? Hey, man. Oh, hi, Mario. It's a great fucking movie. Like, it's good because it's so bad. The same reason, Snipe God, with, with watch, it's, it, watch, just Google the movie The Room. Just Google The Room. Uh, I think the dude's name, the actor, and like, the, the producer, and the fucking director, and <laughs> the guy's name is uh, Tommy Wiseau. And there was actually a movie that came out of it. A movie about the movie. It's called The Disaster Artist, I think. James Franco plays Tommy Wiseau. Right. Right, right. That's that's exactly what I was talking about just now, Pappy. I think it's called The Disaster Artist. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the movie yet. But my friends tell me it's fucking hilarious. So I gotta, I gotta check it out at some point. But The Room it, itself... God, it's, it's like, fuck, man. I don't know if you guys ever saw this episode of, of South Park, of like how Family Guy comes up with their episodes. It's, it's kind of like that. It's like they have, I don't know, dude, I can't explain it. It's, it's, you just, you gotta watch it. You really do. It's so, oh, it's so bad, but it's so good. Caleb Swanigan to 199 for the Blazers. Old school auto to 99 Sydney Moncrief for the Bucks. That's nice. I love the old school autos. Back when they had when back when they played real basketball, you know what I'm saying? The basketball that's out now, it's it's pussy ball. Carl Anthony Towns to 199 for the Timberwolves. A little patcheroni action right there. Devon Reed to 299 for the Suns. You feel me, Breaker Addiction? Back in the days, man, they used to go at it, bro. 90s basketball, RIP. That was like the best basketball. Bef anything before the 90s. And even the early, early 2000s was like some of the best basketball ever played. Like the 80s and the 90s were like the golden era for basketball. Uh, Breaker Addiction, I don't have that. So, I think you're in the wrong room if you're looking for that, bro. That's that super, super, super fancy. Trying to get them Fleer Jordan rookie cards. I, dude, I, I, wish, I wish I could get some of that Fleer action. That stuff sells itself, man. That stuff sells itself. All I got to say is Jordan rookie card and everybody everybody has a fucking chub. And for good reason. It's fucking Michael Jordan. All right, here we go. I hear Kobe rookies are going for 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 big time money too. Dude, Sean Kemp, the Rain Man, Gary Payton, that that whole little action they had going on. Even the old school Warriors, man. Run TMC. Oh, the Bulls, bro. <laughs> Probably tens of thousands of dollars, Breaker Addiction. You know, it seems like back then, every team had like a superstar. Every team had a superstar. Regardless of how bad or good the team did, every team had a superstar, man. All right, Josh. Damn, that was early. Have a good night, bro.
All right, let's see what we got here. Donovan Mitchell to 99 for the Jazz. That's a good card. This kid might be the rookie of the year right here. Kid's been balling. I think the Jazz are now at uh, I think they're at 11 wins in a row. They keep that up. They I don't think they're gonna make the playoffs, but <laughs> you never know. Uh, preferred eBay break. Uh, let's see. I guess you forgot how to read, Joey. Uh, the description of the listing, but it's at 9 o'clock. It's at 9 o'clock. Alfred Payton of the Magic. Two-color patch to 189. It's pretty sweet. Oh, uh, dude, right now with basketball, pretty much everybody has... It's kind of this... It's every team has a really good rookie, like literally. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Joey. You're right. You're right. You're right. Speaking of one of the best back in the day, had one of the pettiest 70 point games, but he got one. David Robinson, one out of five, the Admiral for the Spurs. That's actually really nice. One of five? What? That's a nice card. Well, what teams are you looking for? Uh, for breaker, cause I, I could I could give you a breakdown. I fucking love basketball. Dennis Smith was my pick for rookie of the year. He's up there though. But Donovan Mitchell's killing it. All right, we got three boxes left. Right. There you go, Evan Dixon. Welcome to the room, my dude. Congratulations. Yeah, man, I remember, dude. That's how we used to play when I was little. No blood, no foul. No blood, no foul. That's how we play in the streets. That's how they used to play in the NBA, too. But back then, dude, there used to be, like, fights at every game. Every game, there used to be a fight. I remember watching the Heat growing up, and Alonzo Mourning would get in scuffles with, like, everybody. All right, let's see what keeps going happening here. D Wade back with the Heat, but I don't know how I like that right now. You know, we, we were one and two with D Wade in a Heat uniform, but damn, he looks old, man. I hate to say it, but D Wade might have to retire, like ASAP. So 249, Terrence Ferguson of the Thunder. Or maybe I'm hitting the eject button too quick. That's going to be a sad day when D-Wade retires. Man. Two out of... What? This straight like Hall of Famers coming out of this thing. Dennis Rodman of the Pistons. Two out of five. That's a nice card. That is a nice... I think he's the all-time rebound leader. For a dude that's like 6'8", six, 6'6", six, 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 that's pretty crazy. That's a nice card. What else we got? Bad boys. Bam out of bio to 299. Watch out for this kid. We just might trade Whiteside. He's that good. We just might trade Whiteside. Try to get, uh, try to get some ballers on here. The Heat, man, we got a good team. We're just, we're missing, I think we're two, we're two spots away from getting, uh, getting back to championship contention. We need a closer, and we need a go-to guy. 
Both could be the same thing. I mean, it's, it's it, they're they're far and few between, but they're out there. But you know, I would like Paul George and Damian Lillard to come to Miami this off season. If LeBron were to come back, that'd be cool. Kind of over it. I wouldn't complain. I would have not complained at all uh, if LeBron did decide to come back. But you know, we we got a youth movement going on right now. LeBron ain't getting any younger. I agree, Breaker Addiction. That that's what I'm kind of hoping D Wade can feel this season. Uh, and I think he can. You know, the, the All-Star break came at a good time. You know, the boys, you know, can can really take a long, hard look at this team and see what we've been doing wrong. The last two weeks, man, we've been playing shitty basketball. Uh, but up until that point, we were playing pretty decent. You know, we are competing with everybody. But then we, you know, we just we started sliding. So All-Star break came at a good time. Time to reassess the situation. And hopefully... We do like we did last year, and we go on a run and just fucking destroy everybody. Just like I think this kid is going to do. Markel Fultz. On-card auto for the Sixers. Bro, I'm telling you, man. Watch out for this kid. Watch. Trust the process. Trust the process is all I got to say. Let's continue. Uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich to 299 for the Kings. What else? What else? Timothy Mozgov to 199 for the Nets. Right. And top load it. And last box. Mojo. Good luck, people. Here we go. Actually, the Lakers are playing right now. I think they're playing right now. I am... Hungry. Trash. What do we have here? All right. Good luck, peeps. For the Celtics, Marcus Smart to 99, the autograph. Celtics picking up an auto. I know you wanted a Jason Tatum, but I got you a Marcus Smart. Hey. What else we got? Maybe get a little one on one parallel mojo. We got Sergi Baca to 99 for the Raptors. I need a top loader for that. Cards numbered to uh, less than 125 always receive a top loader. And I'm just getting it out the way now. What else? What else? What else? Jason Tatum to 199 for the Celtics. For the Thunder, Carmelo Anthony with a patch to 199. And I believe that is going to do it. And it does. All right. So to recap this thing, check out the autos. We got Marcus Smart to 99 for the Celtics. Markel Foltz, Sixers. Dennis Rodman, 2 out of 5 for the Pistons. That's sick. David Robinson, 1 out of 5 for the Spurs. That is sick. Sidney Moncrief for the Bucks to 99. OG Ananobi of the Raptors. 
Terrence Ferguson, Thunder, and to 99, Wayne Selden Jr. of the Grizzlies with the autos. And that was your recap. 2017-18, totally certified basketball. Inner case number 10, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that right out to you.